Okay, what's happening now? Companies repairing the railway line. Right, let's copy this info over. Let's see now. Company is repairing a railway line. As part of the work is laying new railway tracks. It costs 12,000 to lay 240 metres of railway track. Work out how much it would cost to lay 320. Well, we divide by 240 to work out the cost for one metre and then multiply, multiply by 320. So that should be a bit more, 16,000. It would take six people Eight days to replace the tracks on different parts of the railway. Work it. <laughs> uh, this is like that question, that classic maths question. You know, it takes four people eight days to dig a hole. How long would it take, you know, ten people, you know, that, that type of stuff. So it would take six people eight days um, to replace the tracks on a different part of the railway. Work out how long it would take four people to replace these tracks, each working at the same speed. So there's a couple of ways to think about it. Um, if you say, you know, six people, eight days, that's basically 48 man hours, or rather, I guess you could say man days of labor, 48. So it would take one person 48 days. But uh, how long would it take four people? Well, you just divide this by four and you get 12 uh, days. And this, this makes sense, right? Because to go from six to four, um, that's um, a reduction of a third. So uh, you'd expect uh, an increase uh, in the number of days, but not by a third. It doesn't quite work like that. You'd, it would be eight divided by uh, a third. No, that's not right, sorry. If you want, uh, I think there's um, a way that some people like doing it where you write, uh, how is it now? Um, you can do these as fractions as well. But the other way you can do it is you can say six people would equal, uh, it would be six people would be eight days of work. So for example, if you were to half it, three people, well, that would take twice as long, logically, like 16 days, okay? But you want four people, not three people, you know? So you would have to find a multiplication here. Go from six to three, um, you divide by two, and here you'd multiply by two. So if you think about it like that, To go down to four people, uh, that would be multiplying by, if you want, two thirds. So here you would divide by two thirds. And again, you get the same answer, 12 days. So 12 days is the answer here. Okay. Five now. Okay, okay. Two towns A and B are 120 kilometers apart. A travel, uh, train travels from A to B at a speed of 180 kilometers per hour. Work out the time it takes. Okay, so this distance speed time. The time is the distance, which is 120, over the speed, which is 180. Give your answer in hours as a fraction. 120 divided by 180 is two thirds of an hour. On the way back, the train and average a speed of 220, work out the average speed of the train for the entire journey. Okay, so we have to work out the total time first. So the time for the journey back will be distance uh, over speed. 
So that's six eleventh of an hour. Um, so we want to calculate now total speed or the average speed. So that would be the total distance, which is 240, this is 120 plus 120, over the total time, which is 2 thirds plus 6 over 11. So that is 198 kilometers per hour. It should be um, more than this, but less than this.